Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today I'm joined by my colleague Mackenzie Mills, the technical content writer here at the company. Today, Mackenzie will be talking to us about mosaicing and tiling in Global Mapper. All right, Mac, take it away. So tiling of data and mosaicing data in Global Mapper is, they're both fairly easy. Um, and we're going to go over both of those in the next few minutes. So first, since I have a single tile of imagery loaded into this open workspace, let's take a look at how to break this into multiple tiles. So the easiest way to do this in Global Mapper is with an export. I want to save these tiles locally on my machine. So I'm going to go to my file menu and find the export raster image format option. I'll stick with the GeoTIFF format. And when I get to this export options dialog, I see that there's a tiling tab. Now on this tiling tab, there's a few different ways that we can set up the tiles. So we can specify the number of pixels in the width and height of each tile. We can specify the tile size in the ground units meters. Or I can specify the number of rows and columns, so the overall number of tiles I want to create, and the size of each tile will be automatically determined based on the data extent. So here I'm going to create 16 tiles with four rows, four columns, and then moving to the bottom half of this dialog, there is uh, the setup for how these tiles are going to be named. So each tile does have a unique name. I'm going to stick with the default here where rows are letters and columns are numbers. With this tiling set up in the export options dialog, I'll click OK and begin this export. I'll be prompted to save these tiles. Now I'm going to create a new folder for these tiles and name that and then enter a name for the tiles that will be used for every file that's generated here. And the tile naming that was determined in the export options is gonna be appended to that. Clicking OK to save these files, Global Mapper is gonna work through and break this imagery down into the 16 tiles that I specified and export each one of those tiles to that given directory. So once all these tiles are exported, uh, we can turn off the original imagery here and go ahead and load them into Global Mapper. Now I can simply go to Open Data Files, find my directory, and we can see all the pieces of the puzzle here that will create the whole image that we're looking for. But a more efficient way to load multiple files from the same folder, like these tiles, is to load all the files from a directory tree. And using this option from the file menu, I just have to find that folder that was created and assign a group name for the data that I'm loading so that all these tiles will be grouped together in the control center just for layer organization. Now with these layers loaded in, we see that I can work with these files individually, these different image layers, turn them on and off, set the layer options, maybe export some of them separately. Or since they're grouped in the control center, I can work with them as a set coming together to create that full image tile that we um, originally were looking at. So we're looking at the same data here. Now another method for tiling that you may have seen in that export options tiling tab that I did not mention is the option to tile based on selected area features. So some selected vector features. For this, we'll use our 16 tiles here and retile this data based on some vector features. Grabbing the digitizer tool and with the right click option to insert pad site from library, I can insert a geometric template, a, an array of vector features um, that I will use for the tiles. Now in this dialog, we have the two default templates here for uh, oil or gas wells, but I'm going to add a new template. So some new geometry to this. This is my tile template. I can go ahead and add that right to my workspace here on top of my imagery, the area that I want to export. Now what this tool is doing, it's taking this defined geometry, this, these defined shapes, these four uh, quadrants of this circle, and placing them wherever I want on the map. So this is a file, it's a vector file that's not tied to a specific location, but that I can place anywhere through this tool. Making sure that the vector features I want to use as my tiles are selected here, so all four of these vector features, I'm going to return to my export uh, vector, or I'm sorry, export raster image format option here, stick with the GeoTIFF format, and then again return to the tiling tab. And this time I'm going to select that bottom option to use selected area features as tiles. 
So this is gonna use those vector features I have selected as my tile boundaries. And at the bottom of the dialog, I can set a little bit of an overlap, let's say 5% overlap, so that we don't have any gaps between these tiles, just to make sure that doesn't happen. Again, I'm gonna click OK from this dialog. Um, I'll be prompted to select how these tiles will be named. I'll stick with the default. We will use those tiles to break out our data. And again, I will set the export location, creating a new folder for my tiles based on a template. Saving these tiles out and exporting them, Global Mapper will work through and pretty quickly create all four of those export files. Once they have been created, we can once again load them into Global Mapper. I will hide all my existing data, import files from a directory, this time importing our four files um, that were created based on that vector template. And we can see that this area of data, this circle is loaded into Global Mapper. This is the same imagery, just exported in a different configuration. And we have those four layers we can work with individually or as a group, since they are grouped in the control center. So those are a couple different ways that we can tile or take a larger area of imagery or elevation data or even vector data and break it into some smaller parts. Let's do the opposite of that now and talk about mosaicing. So mosaicing is bringing these four tiles that I have together and exporting them to a single file. That is really easy in Global Mapper, even simpler than tiling data. I'm again going to export to a raster image format. I'll choose a different format for this option. And exporting to JPEG 2000, I'm gonna to go to the tiling tab and make sure I have the option for no tiling selected. With that selected, I'll simply click OK, save that file to an export location and Global Mapper will export this file. Once that export is complete, I can once again turn off all the visible data in my workspace, load in that exported JP2 file, and we see we have that one layer that is our circle of imagery. It is one layer in the workspace and it can be worked with all as one. Mackenzie, thank you so much for sharing that with us. I know that our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper or Global Mapper Pro, visit www.bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you for joining us for Ask the Experts, and we hope that we'll see you next time.